Okay, so what I want to talk about here is to talk about what's called a price ceiling. Okay, so from your notes, you know, what is a price ceiling? Remember, it's defined as a legally enforced maximum price. Okay, so you know, it's been applied, for example, for rent control. Okay, it's also been applied for gas in the 1970s. Okay, but in terms of a price ceiling, one of the questions you have to ask with, as in addition to a price floor, which we'll cover later, is this price ceiling effective or not? Okay, so determine whether it's effective, you basically have to see where does this price ceiling compare with the equilibrium. Okay, so as an example, suppose the price ceiling is actually above the equilibrium price. Okay, we're basically saying, okay, you can't charge a price above this point. Okay, in this case, this does not prevent the market from reaching its equilibrium. Okay, so in terms of this price ceiling, we would say it's not effective. Okay, and so the question is then, what is the result? Okay, the result then, if it doesn't work, is basically the equilibrium itself. price is going to equal the equilibrium price and the quantity is going to equal the equilibrium quantity. Okay, so in contrast, what happens if the price ceiling is below the equilibrium? Okay, in this case what you're saying is essentially you can't charge a price above this level. So imagine that, you know, this were gas gas being equilibrium price, suppose it's about $3. Okay, if you have a price ceiling of $2, that is gonna be an effective price ceiling, okay? Technically the market wants to charge three, but they won't be able to, they have to charge two. Okay, so the question then is, is what is the result? Okay, the result here, as we can see, well, again, remember, if we look at the quantities, we can say the price is something like this. The quantity demanded is here on the demand curve, and the quantity supplied is there from the supply curve. Okay, and so what do we have in that case? We have a shortage. Okay. So where is the price? price is going to be equal to the price ceiling. Okay, and now, and in terms of the quantity, what's going to be interesting, the quantity here, in terms of the amount of trades, is going to actually be the lower of the two. It's actually going to be the quantity supplied in this case. Okay, but for now, just note that the result here, when it's not effective, it's the equilibrium. And when we have this case, it's effective, the price is going to be this price ceiling.